All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the problem three to the power of 12 minus 81. So to solve this, I'm gonna first write this as three to the power of six times two minus 81. Now I'm gonna rewrite 81 as nine to the power of two. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So three to the power of six times two turns into three to the power of six to the power of two. And I have this minus nine to the power of two. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So I get three to the power of six plus nine times three to the power of six minus nine. Now three to the power of six is equal to 729. So I get 729 plus nine times 729 minus nine, which is equal to 738 times 720. Now, this is the same thing as 700 plus 38 times 700 plus 20. And the reason I rewrote it like this is so it's easier to multiply. So I get 700 squared plus 20 times 700 plus 38 times 700 plus 38 times 20. So 700 squared is 490,000, and I have this plus 14,000, and I have this plus 24,400, sorry, 26,400, and I have this plus 760. Now this is equal to 490,000 plus 40,400. plus 760, which is equal to 490,000 plus 41,060, which is equal to 531,060. Please make sure to subscribe and leave a like. Thank you. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation x to the power of two minus x to the power of three is equal to 36. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by subtracting 36 on both sides. So these two cancel out, and I get x to the power of two minus x to the power of three minus 36 is equal to zero. Now I'm gonna rewrite 36 as negative nine minus 27. And the reason I'm doing this is because nine is the same thing as three squared and 27 is the same thing as three to the power of three. So I'm gonna group together x to the power of three and three to the power of three. And x to the power of two and three to the power of two. So I get x squared minus three squared minus x to the power of three plus three to the power of three. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So I get x plus three times x minus three minus x to the power of three plus three to the power of three is equal to zero. Now from here, x to the power of three plus three to the power of three I can write this as a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared. 
So this turns into x plus 3 times x squared minus 3x plus 9 is equal to 0. And now if I factor out x plus 3, I get x plus 3 times x minus 3 plus or I should say x minus 3 minus x squared minus 3x plus 9 is equal to 0. And this turns into x plus 3 times x squared, or sorry, negative x squared plus 4x minus 12 is equal to 0. So now from here, this gives me two equations. I get x plus 3 is equal to 0, meaning x is equal to negative 3 and negative x squared plus 4x minus 12 is equal to 0, which if I multiply both sides by negative 1, I get x squared minus 4x plus 12 is equal to 0. Now to solve this, I'm going to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So this turns into 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 4 times 1 times 12 all over 2 times 1 which is equal to 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 48 over 2 which is equal to 4 plus or minus the square root of negative 32 over 2 which is equal to 4 plus or minus the square root of 32 times the square root of negative 1 over 2 and I'm going to simplify the square root of 32 which is equal to the square root of 16 times 2 which is equal to square root of 16 times the square root of 2, which is equal to 4 root 2. So I get x is equal to 4 plus or minus 4 root 2, i, which is the square root of negative 1, over 2, which is equal to 2 plus or minus 2 root 2, i. All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the equation 3 to the power of x squared over 9 to the power of x is equal to 27. So to solve this, I'm going to first rewrite 9 as 3 squared and 27 as 3 to the power of 3. And now I can use the property a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n. So now I get 3 to the power of x squared over 3 to the power of 2x is equal to 3 to the power of 3. Now from here, if I have something from a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So I get 3 to the power of x squared minus 2x is equal to 3 to the power of 3. And now I can use the property a to the power of a. If I have something from a to the power of, sorry, a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, x squared minus 2x is equal to 3. And if I subtract both sides by 3, these two cancel out, and I get x squared minus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. So from here, I'm going to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So I get x is equal to positive 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 4 times 1 times negative 3 all over 2 times 1. And this is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 plus 12 over 2, which is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 16 over 2, which is equal to 2 plus or minus 4 over 2, meaning x is equal to 2 plus 4 over 2, which is 3, and x is also equal to 2 minus 4 over 2, which is negative 1. So these are my two solutions of x. So if you liked the video, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and share this to your friends and family.